so if you if we go back to first principles and and then we gauge it with with pragmatism and practicality um, and then all the sensibilities about about adoption of technology and um, the impact of technology uh, there's several things that I would say I, I think first of all uh, the work that we're involved in and what NVIDIA's work in and artificial intelligence and, and the rest of industries work in this area. Um, there's no question that that the computer um, has will completely transform from something that we uh, that we we uh, program uh, to something that programs itself with a great deal of guidance from us. And so we we still have to tell it, you know, what 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 do we want you to go learn? And so in the in the past. We would we would uh, teach uh, a computer Japanese, uh, but in the future we would tell the computer to go learn Japanese, okay. and so okay. so now the, the the way the way that we use computers will be transformed. Of course, uh, the computer will be able to deal with with problem sizes that are a billion times larger than anything we're working on today, and so in in a way we can't even comprehend what that means because. Because coming up with a solution is one thing, even formulating a problem in our head to go solve is a completely different thing. And many problems, uh, many solvable problems are limited by our own, own imagination about how to formulate the problem and how to think about the problem. And so the size of the problem that we can, we can engage, whether it's the complexities of digital biology um, or the complexities of, of physical sciences or quantum physics or... You know, all of the things that are material sciences, that's going to be easy. Um, all of the type of things, you know, even mundane things like traffic jams, a lot of these things are going to be largely easy. Um, smart grids, there's so much waste in the grid. Um, you know, artificial intelligence will go figure out how to, uh, how to, how to deploy energy, just enough energy. Okay. And instead of over-provisioning energy, we've got a lot of energy that's wasted. And so, so the the idea of of um, uh, of AI being able to solve those what is largely going to be mundane problems is is going to be quite incredible. And so, every field of science will be affected. Uh, will be affected. Every every hard problem today will be turbocharged. And um, when the tool, when the instrument, when the tool is way way faster, then the problem looks way smaller. And so, let me give you an example. If if an airplane were to travel you know, Mach 10, um, then obviously the world becomes a smaller place. Mm -hmm. And because of, because of jet planes, we made the world smaller. The world used to be a lot bigger. Right. And so, so it's the same thing with, with the computers NVIDIA makes because of what we make is so much faster. We made every problem smaller to the, to the point where one day researchers at OpenAI said, hey, why don't we just take all of the Internet data and just give it to this computer? Because all of a sudden, all of the world's internet data looks so small. These days, when we look at all of the world's internet data, it looks tiny to us because the computers have become so fast. And that, that attitude will pervade almost every field of science. Okay. You know, back in the old days, everybody goes, wow, this is a really hard problem. Now it's going to look really simple. And, and so in five years' time, that is going to be the state of mind of every scientist, engineer, entrepreneur, innovator, all of those hard problems now just look really simple. And so as a result, we're going to solve more problems. So, so that's, that's one outcome. Another outcome, of course, is that companies will be incredibly productive. What is hard problems today, what are hard problems today are going to be simple problems tomorrow. And so um, managing our supply chain will be way easier so we have hardly any waste. Um, designing our Computers are going to be way easier, and so we can try more examples. Not that we'll, not that we'll, we'll release more computers than we are today. We do it once a year, but we'll we'll try more iterations of these examples of computers so that the one that we release every year is so much better. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, let's see, that's that's one, and so our company will be more productive. We'll make more profit. Every company will be more profitable. We'll all be richer. Yeah, we'll, we'll be more profitable. Um, one, of, one of the manifestations of it, though, as, as I connect these two ideas, is if every problem that 
that that we dream up looks more more tenable, then we're going to come up with more problems to solve. Mm-hmm. And so instead of instead of having no lesser jo- fewer jobs, I actually feel what's likely to happen is that we're going to be busier than ever. And the reason for that is because we're going to think of more and more ideas of things that we can solve now that we didn't used to be able to solve. All those things that were off the table are now on the table. Mm-hmm. And all of the experiments we it was too expensive to try, they're all every experiment should be tried. And or the AI is going to help us go try those experiments. And and so to the extent that we have imagination and we have a lot of problems that we we were deferring or we couldn't solve before, I think they're all going to be on the table. Um, one thought experiment is imagine, and so today, when, I, when I'm working, I'm surrounded by 60 geniuses, and they're surrounded by a few thousand geniuses. And in my case, I'm surrounded by 60 people who are all better at what they do than I am. In a lot of ways, they're basically artificial super intelligent relative to me in, in their field. And yet I've got no trouble working with all of them. And so I, I think that in the future, and, and the AIs that I use now with OpenAI and Gemini and Grok and, you know, I use Perplexity and, and um, uh, Anthropic and, you know, all of these, all of these AIs in, in their way, they're already smarter than I am. And, and yet I've got no trouble working with them every day. And so that's number one. But what's really interesting though, is that when I formulate problems for, for my team to go do, I often have the benefit of waiting the two or three or four days for them to go find the answer or formulate the answer um, back to me that allows me to then go think about the next step and then thinking about the next step. Because in order for me to think through my steps, I need intermediate answers to come back. What if those answers come back basically in a second? That's the thought experiment. Mm-hmm. My day, my days would be insanely busy now because I'm now the critical path of everything. And so I've got to go, okay, now I've got the answer of that. Therefore, I've got to think about this. I've got to kick off another experiment. Now I've got the answer to that. I, you know? And so I, I feel that we're busier today because information technology is faster today, would you say? Yes. We're getting information and knowledge and you know, answers so fast now it puts us in a critical path therefore we're busier than ever i have a feeling that a lot of people are going to feel that way and then and then lastly um for the people that that um weren't didn't benefit from uh the technology industry that you and i had the benefit of being part of all of a sudden artificial intelligence closed that technology divide you know one of the one of my favorite things is just vibe coding anybody could be a software programmer now and and vibe coding is creating software that you know is better than a lot of software programmers, and so I love the, the work that Cursor does. I love you know I, I met the CEO of Lovable the other day, and he's a terrific guy, and and a, a startup in Sweden, and and I'm um, really happy to see that. And so so I think that that AI is going to close the technology divide, and everybody who who are really gifted at their craft, but maybe they don't know how to scale themselves with technology. They now have AI to help scale them. Okay.